English Foxhound is the product of more than a century of careful breeding, evident in his remarkable nose, accents, and courage. The history of the breed is well documented in the form of stud books meticulously maintained by masters of foxhounds in both England and America. English records date back nearly two centuries, while American pedigrees can be traced to the mid-18th century, with these early bloodlines readily discernible in modern-day American packs. Canon Kingsley, the poet, described the foxhound, the result of nature, not limited, but developed by high civilization. Next to an old Greek statue, there are few such combinations of grace and strength as in a fine foxhound. The English foxhound was admitted to AKC registration in 1909. You'll be seeing many English foxhounds during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed. Others are less so. All will help your understanding of the English Foxhound. In general appearance, the English Foxhound is a balanced, symmetrical hound, being somewhat longer in body than his height at the withers. The English Foxhound has been selected for scenting power, cry, drive, stamina, moderate speed, pack sense, and courage. He is intelligent and of a cheerful, determined disposition. He is solid possessing a sturdy build with substantial bone and bears the wear and tear look of a hound that can last in the chase. Bone is of substance and strength, providing activity, moderate speed, stamina, and endurance. The symmetry and balance of the hound is considered of greater importance than size. Bitches tend to be somewhat more elegant in build than dogs, yet they remain sturdy, and some allowance should be made for differences in the sexes. As you evaluate the English foxhound, bear in mind that differing local terrain and other ecological factors from pack to pack will produce a certain degree of variation in type in the show ring. While obviously pronounced variation from general type should be taken into consideration, slight differences must not affect your overall evaluation. All the dogs in this group, for example, are of acceptable type. Levelness within packs is more important than size variation among packs. <laughs> 